くなそうな悪くなそうな部屋。悪くなそうな部屋。It looks the room that feel that that looks uncomfortable. Looks bad. Feels Does bad. Does it look bad? Why is there a not here? Seems bad. So not. So solna does mean seems. Why did it become kuna rather than just being a wadu soul? What could this kuna be telling us? Hmm. Negative form of wadu so doesn't seem bad. Exactly. <laughs> the room does not seem bad. Gotta get those knots in there. Okay, we never had to read this kanji. Um, chisana. Uh, Mado. Perfect. Mado. So let's go Our read window. this line from the book. Hi. Tisana Mado wa doremo garasu ga nakata ga igoko chi wa waku wa raku nasa soda. Why is it saso, Mani? Is it is it the positive form? No. Um it's the, it's the same as waruka naso. Saso. It's just added. It's like yo saso. Yo saso from yoi plus so. It looks doesn't look bad. Right. Does not look bad. Doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad. So the small window, Chisana Madowa uh Doremo uh Garasuga um glass glass um Doremo. Dore it's from somewhere. Um, kind of, yeah. No. You're thinking about doko specifically, which is a location word, versus dore, sore, and kore, which is this, right? This, that, thou. So dore is this. No, no, yes, kore but is with this. the question dore is in there. What? So question plus mo is uh, something. Yeah. In this case, I would say it as all, right? Doremo. All of these. All of this, right? Grasuga. All the glasses. All the glass. This glass is referring to the glass of the window or glass as in garasu. It's glass, like glass in a window. Nakataga. There's no glass. Right. Nakata. Where is there no glass? It's the nai form. Garasu ga nakata. So it's the negative form of naru, isn't it? Um, no, no, it's the negative no. form of nai. Yes. The right. Nai. So if you take naru but to the, become, but it becomes na ta, right? Na ta ka na kata kata. What ten? What does kata do? Where does kata come from? Come from the is come from the e form. Correct. So it's, it's the past nai. Ten. Just like right here with it's na ta. Nai. This is also nai. So here it said. That there is no, there are no glass. Hi. The window have no glass. Yep. The windows have no glass at all. None of the small or here, windows have glass. Or is closely to the any. There yes. isn't any. There aren't any glass. Yep. The and window, we've seen it used before to mean any. Hi. Ga. However, it's it seems not. It doesn't seem bad. 
Yeah. Why not give seem bad. Nas as well? Doesn't the seem bad. The vibes, the vibes check out, man. Doesn't seem that bad. Uh the the ego go chi. The comfort, the place of comfort doesn't seem bad. Yep. Perfect. And do you know what aka atari means? Atari. Right. It is specifically the atari with this kanji. The surrounding. Yes, the surroundings. Perfect. Okay. What the heck? Who did I want you to know here? I'll do this one for now. What does this mean? Um. Mushi kui moth eater. Lots of little holes. Hi, perfect. I think I just had this here for context, saying like, oh, remember, he just poked his head in here and plopped up um stuff. So, oh, I wanted to check if you remembered how to read attic, which is right over here. Yane ura beya. Perfect. So this a lot of times, once it's been said the first time, will be shortened. So let's go read the sentence from the book. Yane ura ni agatte atari o the surrounding. Right. I look around at the surroundings. I climb to the attic. I went up the attic and I look around the surrounding. Perfect. And how do you say ceiling? Ceiling is tenjo. And how about low? Low is hikui. Yep, hikui. Perfect. Can you read the bolded part for me? Bolded part. Kinu igai de miga itewa narang. Perfect. What is this igai telling us? Outside of. Yeah. So. Anything other than. Perfect. Kinu referred to a silk cloth. Hi. Kinu igai. Yeah. Yeah. Other than silk cloth, know. it will not be polished. Um, this word ends with a guy. Do you know what it started with? Start with e. Hi. Perfect. Can you read this example oh. sentence for me? Heya ni nimotsu igai wa nani mo nakatta. Right. So that's a katta. Nani mo. Mean nothing. Hi. There exists nothing, not anymore. Right. Nothing where? Hey, ya ni in the room. There is nothing. Wa. Outside of the luggage, there is nothing. Yep. So the only thing in the room is luggage. So that's how it's kind of similar to Shika. Do you know what garan mean? Like in garanto shtamachi? It is a kind of like a sound effect. Garanto. Garan to shita machi. The town that is Garan to shita. Uh, an empty town. Perfect. Empty. Nice. Happy that make the sound of emptiness. So, Garan. So. Perfect. Let's go read the example sentence. Ore to nimotsu igai wa nani mo nakte. Garanto Garanto It is quiet. Hmm. It, it's quiet, but before that, it says, Ore to I and Nimotsu Igai wa, other than myself and the luggage, Nani mo naku. Naku. This naku referred to naku, naku as in like. Uh, negative form. Nai. Yes, nai in te form. Nakte. Nakte. So here is say an afterward. So other than myself in the luggage, there's nothing and 
ガランとシステイル。It is empty. はい、it's empty. It is doing, doing emptiness. シテイル。そうそう。So、it feels empty. Any idea to read this word? This pile? A large. Yeah, ma. Piling. I don't remember money. That、Maybe? was. Du, du mi. Is this glottal du stop? Is, are these tensions here? Du mi. Is this part of rendaku or does it always, or is it always du mi? I think part of rendaku. It is part of rendaku. So the original verb was du mi. Du mi. Du mi. Yama du mi. Large mound. Can you read this bolded word for me? Hi. um... Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. Don't know. I Die. 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 Jo. I believe it's Tai Jo. And now I want to check. It is Tai Jo. Tai Jo no Hibana. Right. What does this mean? So the spark. Tairo means、that、a is... large amount. So, a large, large amount, amount of sparks. Hinoyawa wa hatsuretsu ste, Tairo no hibana o fukidashite, fukidashi. So, the, air, the light arrow explodes and a bunch of sparks come gushing, gushing out. Tairo.、Um, can you read this word right here that meant a large mound? Yama zumi. Perfect. From sumu. How about this word, which means super duper duper piled up by having the word pile and pile and pile pile? Hi,、right, so here we have sumika sanateru. Yep, tumi kasanateru. Because tumi comes from tumu and kasanaru is the other word.、Um, can you read the large quantity word for me? Dai. Ryo, dai ryo. Tai, tata. Tai ryo. Tai. No rendaku. Tai ryo.、Um, Could you read this word for me?、Um, moru. Kimoru. Komoru. Tu. Tu. Tu moru. Tu. That's from our tu. Tumoru. Difference is one probably takes oh, the other one takes ka.、Um, tu moru means、uh, to, pile, to be piled up. Um, what is the so to m u r u is a u verb. So, what is the te form? Te form, sumuru, sumuru to the te form. So, it's sumote. No、tumote. glottal stop.、So、oh, no, it, it has a glottal stop. Tumote. 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 Tumota no tumote. Um, so this takes ga as right here with the no substitution. Can you read the example sentence for me? Hokori no sumota yuka wa kire janai. Right. The floor that was piled up with the dust. Right. It's not for me. Perfect. You know what a kabi is? Kabi. Doremo. Look at that. Doremo.、Okay. Kabi. <laughs> ga. Aeteru. Um, I'm guessing a spider? That's a good guess. That's kumo. Two hiragana characters, just like kabi. Kabi means mold. So it says mold. The, all the books are old. And they have all of them right here. Another old, that's all of them. So it says the books are old, and all of, them, all of the books, the books, all of them are old, and all of those books have mold growing on them. Haiteru. Kabi is mold.、Um, do you remember what chikui meant? Chikui de. Dekita. Nuno. Uh, kazari. No kazari no hana. Shikui. 
ده um, the flower of the flower kazaris kazari means decorations the flower ah uh, the decoration kazari no hana the ha the flower of the decoration dekita was able to do what close oh it's made of, made of yeah made of yep so the flower De decorations dekita. were made out of squeak something that he can see in plaster. the corner of the tenjil yep plaster perfect um do you know what kstai means kstai kshitai um uh Moni, can you help me? The, is it the bolded word? Kusai? It's the bolded word hike. Kusai. Hike. Kusai. So Kusai is um it's the soot. Good guess. Um that's susu. Kusai is um bad smelling. So it just says kusai, it bad smells sweet. bad. Kusai. Probably like gesu equal like sewage. So what it just mean neoi no it's it's, it's it's a bad flower. bad neoi a bad neoi can be good sorry. like a flower should have a nice e neoi right but a wadu neoi would be kusai. so in english right. we'd say stink right stink is a neoi a smell that is bad you can right. say the word bad smell, or you can just say the word stink. What did kabi mean? Kabi. Kabi ga. Kabi ga. Haseteru. Dore mo kabi ga. Mold? Mold? Yeah, mold. Yes, kabi means mold. And how do you read this word right here, which means uh, to be piled up? Sumota. Perfect. Sumota. Powder. And what did chikui mean? Chikui. Chikui. Chikui is plaster. plaster. Perfect. Chikui. And what did kusai mean? Kusai mean um. Oh no! I forgot. Kusai. It's a lot like the word nioi. Uh, bad smell. Bad smell. Hi, hi. Stinks. Kusai. So this is the kanji for bad smell. How do you read it? Kusai. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Kabi kusai. Hi. What is kabi kusai? What do you think this means? Kabi is... Uh, kabi is mold. Kusai is bad smell. Right. The bad smell of mold. Exactly. Stinks smell. of mold. Perfect. Yeah. So right over here is another past thingy. We're describing the models. All the model of the yashiki right now are hibi wareta. Hibi wareru. Do you know what hibi wareru means? Uh, Hibi wareru. Uh, it's crack. Hi, crack. Perfect. Can you read this example sentence for me? Hey, yeah, zen, zen die, zen die, or zen tai. Hey, hey, yeah, zen die, wa kabi kusai. All of the 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 entire room is moldy. Nice. No, moldy stinks snack. of mold. Right. Do you know what point no. means? Like kazori point. This is something that gets added to words. Point. Kazori. Kazori. Point. Kazori. Kazori. Um, Kazori. Uh, decorated. Decorated. Completely decorated. Or kazari. <laughs> so I was like, starts with ka, 
Kazaza. Uh, Kazari. Yep. Kazari. So, Kazari. Poi. So, poi means ish. So, Kazari poi means decorated ish. So, this is a lock that that is decorated ish. Just, just decorated. So, it's a way to kind of say ishi to something. It, like, it looks or is it a little bit ish. Ishi adjective -y word. So, over here, it says hokori poi. Right? Which means dusty ish. So you can basically kind of ignore it and just say turn some what a noun into an adjective is basically what it is. Kori poi. Kori pokute. Kori poi. Hidori pokute. Kabiskusa. Yukani. Yukani wa orio no hoko. Hokori ga sumori. Tairyo. Tairyo. So sumori was uh, to pound up. Hi. So the box. No, box. hokori. Hokori. Um, not the box, but the dust Hi. that piled up thickly on the floor. Um, the the dust piled up thickly on the floor and kabe no shikui the plaster of the wall shikui wa hibiware the cracks there are cracks on the plaster of the wall heya zentai ga the entire room Hokori pokte ka kabi kusai mori hokori pokte full of dust and smell mold. Yep, it's dusty and Moldy smells of mold. Perfect. So this word right here, we actually saw not that long ago without kanji. Do you have any idea what this verb means or how to read it? It means heavy. It is the kanji thick. for heavy. You're right. That would be omoi, the adjective. The verb, though, Piled means up. to pile up. Right. Which is ka -sa. Ka -sa -neru. What is to pile up in Japanese again? Kasaneru. Perfect. Kasaneru. So basically the same meaning of tumori. Uh, tumoru. Can you read this word for tumoru. me? Um, moguru. Yep. Moguru is to crawl. Crawl on your crawl. legs. To crawl into something. Moguru. And this is a do verb. I mean an u verb. What kind of verb is moguru? Um, people, uh, sorry, moguru is a, it's a ruva, is an uva. Ooh, ooh, hi, uva, hi. So what is the step form of moguru? The step form of moguru? Oh, stem. Of an, Noun form. Stem form of an uva, we turn it to ri, so moguri. Perfect, moguri. Um, do you know what kaburitsuku means? Kaburitsuku. To bite into or to Perfect. nibble. And how about nokori? To to nokori, the leftovers, the remaining. Perfect. Do you happen to know the difference Every... between kajiru and kaburitsuku and perhaps even kamu? These all basically <laughs> have to do with biting. Kaburi tsuku. Kajiru is to bite down. Which one is the bite down? Kajiru? No. Kajiru is to gnaw on something. Kajiru so this is, is taking gnaw. like a lot of small bites, is kajiru. Going nom 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 nom. Kaburi tsuku is to take a bite out of something, to sink your teeth into something. And kamu is just to yeah. bite with no illustration at all. So, kan, really commonly, 
what has been kajiri, kajiruing the muffin in his pocket. So he's been able to eat a little bit this whole day, basically, as he's been chasing after and doing um, the stuff around the house. Versus when he was at the dining room table, he kaburitsukut, he gobbled up the muffins and ate one after another. So that's just how his muffin was able to last throughout the day was because he was kajiruing it, not kaburitsukuing it. Because kajiru is basically the gnaw on something, to take teeny bites. はい。どうしたのリーディングですかこれ。あ、あわり。プラスカワリ。やっかわり。歯の代わりにマクラナトリがびっしりと止まっている。これ実はかわりにいん。インプレイスオフ。パーフェクト。どうしたのモゴリコ
Iru. Follow. Good guess. This is um, Nagatabi, which means a long journey. Nagatabi de tsukaretairu. I arrived. Good guess as well. Tsukaredu means to be tired. Ah, tsukareta. I see. Tired. 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 So this is the first time this kanji has popped up, but I felt like you might know it already. It means fun. You know what the fun kanji is? Hi, it's tano, tanoshi. Tanoshi. What is the te form of the e adjective tanoshi? Te form is tanoshiku. Yeah, tanos tanoshiku te. Yeah, need that te in there. Otherwise, it's just adverbal form, which are extremely related, and a lot of times they are interchangeable, but there's a slight difference. Do you, can you remember how to read this word? And all day. All day. Ichinichiju. Perfect. Ichinichiju. Can you read this sentence for me? Kyo wa today tanoshiku de nagai ichinichi datta. Right. It's a fun and long day. Perfect. Today was a fun and long day. Oh, what did tsukareta mean? Tired. Perfect. So let's go read the line from the book. No, that. Hmm. I say, tsukareta. I'm tired. Demo, however, nagate. Tanoshi Ichinichi Data. It was a long fun day. Perfect. And do you remember how to read this word? Kasai? Kasai. What did Kasai mean? Kasai is smell or smelly. Bad smelly. smell. Bad smell. How about this word? E Igai. Hi, Igai, perfect. Than. And how about a large amount? Oryo. Mm. Let's end with ryo, though. Got a second chance for that oki kanji? Hi. Tairyo. Hi, tairyo. And how about to pile up? Uh, kasa from perfect. umbrella, right? Kasa. kasa yeah. Like an umbrella. Can you read this word for me? Mm, this is to sweep. Hi. Uh, ni, ni, oh. To sleep. Nemui, namui, namui. Yeah, nemui, perfect. Uh, ne, nemui, nemui. Nemuru, in nemuru. this case. So, nemute, to be sleeping. Nemute, that's exactly what I'm feeling right now. Nemute. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> You're, you got you got five minutes left before you can go to bed. <laughs> Hang in there. Gambate. Gambate. <laughs> You're almost there. Nimuri. Nimuri ni tsuku. Nimuri ni tsuku means to fall asleep, which you're also doing right now. <laughs> um, what did tabekake mean? Tabekake. To begin to eat. Good guess. To start eating. That is a really good no? guess. But no. Um, this oh. is a noun. Tabekake no muffin. Oh, the thing that was oh, that was already partially ate. Exactly. That's exactly what it means. Yep, something that's been partially eating. Kake basically means like leftovers, like nokori, but it focuses on the side of the leftover. Like it's not like, oh, you have leftovers tomorrow. It's more like Oh, there's some leftovers on your plate or something. So it's right here's the muffin that's been half eaten. Tabekake. So you can use that to say this word, which is hitokake, which is basically another way to say fragment or piece, or a single fra or a single leftover kind of idea. A single crumb. Can be the idea of it. Is this from one. Hito is one. Hi, hito is one. Wakata. Hitokake. One left. Or the yep. part that was left. Perfect. 
So this will probably be our last line of the day. Woo. <laughs> Hi. Muffin o saigo no hitokake made tabete kara nimuri ni tsuita. Can you read this? Is this nimuri or is this nemuri? Nemuri. Hi, hi. Ne. Nemu. Nemuri. Ni suita. So, um, lastly, no, no, no. Saigo no hito kake made. Tabete kara. I ate. No, no. He didn't. No, he did eat. I he ate. I ate the last. I ate the remaining last muffin, or the muffin that was the last. Hi. I this. I ate that last muffin. Hi. That last and crumb of the muffin, that last piece, the last leftover of the muffin. I ate the last the bit of the muffin there as well. So it's the very last final crumb of the muffin, all the way over the, to that very last crumb. I ate it. Kara was tekara mean. That's what I mean afterwards. Yeah, so after eat the very like, final crumb of the muffin, what did I do? It had the same meaning as ato, Moni. Yes. Tabeta. Same meaning. Um, after I ate the last bit of the muffin, I fall asleep. Nemuri ni suita. Nice. And any questions?